Hey there, Leslie Nicole with French Kiss Collections. Today I'm going to give you some power tips on placing and resizing your textures. Okay, so this is a simple still life of walnuts and walnut leaves. And here's our texture we'll be using today. It's called Paysage from the Tableau Collection. Let's go back to the image file here. And something that's very convenient is to make sure you have the layer selected that is the layer that's going to be just below the texture. You don't have to do that, but it's just convenient. So I've selected my top layer here. Let's go back to the texture. Now we're going to take our texture and put it into our image file. And I could just copy and paste, you know, Command or Control A for Select All. Command or Control C for copy, and then Command or Control V for paste. And that works fine, but I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to delete that, go back over here to my texture. And I like to drag between windows. You may have noticed I have Photoshop set up to have tabbed windows, and I really like working this way. So I'm going to drag my texture over into my image file. You need to make sure that your move tool is um, selected and the keyboard shortcut for that is V. Alright, so just hold down your mouse and drag over to your other image. Make sure you kind of see the outline of the texture before you drop it. It's, it's a very faint outline. Oh, I'm going to redo that because I want to show you something. If you hold on the shift key as you drag and drop, then your file will come in centered, which is very nice. OK, so my texture is larger than my image file, so I want to resize it. Now, something that's convenient, you don't have to do it, but it can be convenient to set your blend mode to multiply so you can see what's happening as you resize. All right, to resize, I'm going to activate the, the Transform tool, which is Command or Control T. So my texture is so large, I can't even see the bounding box on my Transform tool. So what I'm going to do is hit Command 0, that's Control 0 on the PC, and now I can see my bounding box and grab one of these handles. OK. All right, I'm going to grab one of these handles to resize. And here's a couple of important tips. If I want to resize from the center, I'm going to hold down the Option key. Now, if I also want to constrain the proportions as I resize, I'll hold on the Shift key. So that's Option and Shift together. On um, PC, that would be Alt and Shift, by the way. Now, in this texture, I don't really care if it's proportional. In fact, I want to have all my corner detail, so I'm not going to hold on the Shift key. I'm just going to resize with the Option key held down. That'd be Alt key on the PC. All right, another quick tip. Um, in order to have this texture snap to the document bounds, I'm going to pause this for a second, my transforming. Go up here to the Menu tool to View, Snap to, and then make sure that Document Bounds is selected. So now, when I continue to hold on the Option key, it snaps. So that way I can be sure that my texture is sized exactly to my image. All right, I'm going to hit Enter or Return. OK, so our texture has been placed and sized, and this is the final image. I've done a little bit of masking to bring out um, a little bit more of the leaves on this. On the blog, I will also be writing out the tips so you can get those shortcuts, as well as placing a link to an alternate tutorial for different method. OK, I hope that's been helpful for you. And to find the collections and the links to other tutorials, go to frenchkisscollections.com. Thank you.